7 Eyewitness News keeping its eye on education. High school grads now only have about five days to apply for the New York State Excelsior Scholarship. That's, of course, the program that allows full-time students to attend a SUNY school tuition free as long as they come from a family with an income under $110,000. The deadline is set for Monday. We have full details on how you can apply right now on the WKBW app. Now, meantime, there are questions tonight about this scholarship and connection to re-election ads for Governor Cuomo. So when I witnessed news reporter Justin Moore taking a closer look here. New York gubernatorial candidate Mark Melanero is crying foul. And it's creepy. It's coercive. Molinero, a Republican, is accusing Governor Andrew Cuomo of breaking federal law. He says the governor violated education privacy laws by using students who are receiving accessor scholarships to take part in his re-election ads. You can't help but feel slightly intimidated. The Federal Family Educational Rights and Privacy Act generally protects the privacy of college students' records. And Melanero says somehow the governor's campaign got his hands on those records. And we want the governor to answer those questions. Who knew what when? Who was influenced? Who, who, was made, who, who, who made what phone calls to whom? Uh, and, uh, and why were these kids, uh, why was their private information uh, uh, accessible by the... By the, campaign. the Cuomo campaign says Melanero is playing political games and it did nothing wrong. We requested any publicly available list of state of the state invitees. The campaign says in a statement, it is clear Trump mini me Melanero will do anything to distract from his failing campaign. At least one student has come forward to say he felt violated by a phone call he received from the Cuomo's uh, campaign office. Molinero is now asking the U.S. attorney to investigate the governor. Justin Moore, 7 Eyewitness News. All right, thank you, Justin. And the latest Quinnipiac poll shows the governor holding on to a commanding 36-point lead in the Democratic primary for governor, 59 to 23 percent. Cuomo's lead is growing. He held a 22 percent lead in a Quinnipiac poll released back in May. Governor Cuomo will return more than $500,000 in campaign donations connected to corruption cases, including the Buffalo Billion scandal. The money will be donated to Puerto Rico recovery efforts as well as groups that do, quote, important work, which the government says will include legal defense for immigrants and women's reproductive rights. Last week, a jury convicted Lou Simonelli and the former head of SUNY Polytechnic Institute for rigging the bidding process for Buffalo's Riverbend project.